prepareth a way for our escape. Wherefore death and hell must deliver up their dead, and hell must deliver up its captive spirits, and the grave must deliver up its captive bodies, and the bodies and the spirits of men will be restored one to the other. And it is by the power of the resurrection of the Holy One of Israel. He cometh into the world that he may save all men if they will hearken unto his voice. For behold, he suffered the pains of all men, yea, the pains of every living creature, both men, women, and children. And he suffereth this that the resurrection might pass upon all men that all might stand before him at the great and judgment day. And he commandeth all men that they must repent and be baptized in his name, having perfect faith in the Holy One of Israel, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. Woe unto all those who die in their sins, for they shall return to God and behold his face and remain in their sins. Remember, to be carnally minded is death and to be spiritually minded is life eternal. I would speak unto you more, but on the morrow I will declare unto you the remainder of my words. Amen. 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 must needs be expedient that Christ, for in the last night the angels spake unto me that this should be his name, shall come among the Jews. But they at Jerusalem will stiffen their necks against him that he be crucified. But behold, thus saith the Lord God, when the day cometh that they shall believe in me, that I am Christ, then have I covenanted with their fathers that they shall be restored in the flesh upon the earth unto the lands of their inheritance. Seeing that our merciful God has given us so great knowledge concerning these things, let us remember him and lay aside our sins and not hang down our heads, for we are not cast off. Nevertheless, we have been driven out of the land of our inheritance, but we have been led to a better land, for the Lord has made the sea our path, and we are upon an isle of the sea. Cheer up your hearts, and remember that ye are free to act for yourselves, to choose the way of everlasting death or the way of eternal life. Reconcile yourselves to the will of God and not to the will of the devil and the flesh. And remember after ye are reconciled unto God that it is only in and through the grace of God that ye are saved. Wherefore, may God raise you from death by the power of the resurrection and also from everlasting death by the power of the atonement, that ye may be received into the eternal kingdom of God that ye may praise him through grace divine. Amen. 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 I must speak concerning the doctrine of Christ. Wherefore I shall speak unto you plainly, according to the plainness of my prophesying. I would that ye should remember that I have spoken unto you concerning that prophet which the Lord showed unto me that should baptize the Lamb of God which should take away the sins of the world. Now, if the Lamb of God 
he being holy, should have need to be baptized by water to fulfill all righteousness. Oh, then, how much more need have we, being unholy, to be baptized, yea, even by water? And now I would ask of you, wherein the Lamb of God did fulfill all righteousness in being baptized by water? Know ye not that he was holy? But, notwithstanding he being holy, he showeth unto us, the children of men, that according to the flesh he humbleth himself before the Father, and witnesseth unto the Father that he would be obedient unto him in keeping his commandments. Wherefore, after he was baptized with water, the Holy Ghost descended upon him in the form of a dove. And it showeth unto the children of men the straightness of the path and the narrowness of the gate by which they should enter, he having set the example before them. If ye shall follow the Son with full purpose of heart, acting no hypocrisy and no deception before God, but with real intent, repenting of your sins, witnessing unto the Father that ye are willing to take upon you the name of Christ by baptism, yea, by following your Lord and your Savior down into the water, according to his word, behold, then shall ye receive the Holy Ghost. And now, after ye have gotten into this straight and narrow path, I would ask if all is done. Behold, I say unto you, Nay. For ye have not come thus far, save it were by the word of Christ, with unshaken faith in him, relying wholly upon the merits of him who is mighty to save. Wherefore, ye must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, having a perfect brightness of hope and a love of God and of all men. And if ye shall press forward, feasting upon the word of Christ, and endure to the end, behold, thus saith the Father, ye shall have eternal life. This is the way and there is none other way nor name given under heaven whereby man can be saved in the kingdom of God. And now what should ye do after ye have entered in by the way? That after ye had received the Holy Ghost, ye could speak with the tongue of angels. Angels speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherefore they speak the words of Christ. Feast upon the words of Christ. They will tell you all things what ye should do. If ye will enter in by the way and receive the Holy Ghost, it will show unto you all things what ye should do. Behold, this is the doctrine of Christ. I, Nephi, have written what I have written, and I esteem it as of great worth, and especially unto my people. For I pray continually for them by day, and mine eyes water my pillow by night because of them. And I cry unto my God in faith, and I know that he will hear my cry. I have charity for my people, and great faith in Christ, that I shall meet many souls spotless at his judgment seat. All ye ends of the earth, hearken unto these words and believe in Christ, for they are the words of Christ, and he hath given them unto me. And they teach all men that they should do good, for Christ will show unto you with power and great glory that they are his words. And I pray the Father in the name of Christ that many of us, if not all, may be saved in his kingdom at that great and last day. And now, my beloved brethren, all those who are of the house of Israel, and all ye ends of the earth, 
I speak unto you as the voice of one crying from the dust. Farewell until that great day shall come. This day I am weighed down with much more desire and anxiety for the welfare of your souls than I have hitherto been. It grieveth my soul and causeth me to shrink with shame before the presence of my Maker that I must testify unto you concerning the wickedness of your hearts. And also it grieveth me that I must use so much boldness of speech concerning you before your wives and your children, many of whose feelings are exceedingly tender and chaste and delicate before God, which thing is pleasing unto God. Wherefore it burdeneth my soul that I should be constrained because of the strict commandment which I have received from God to admonish you according to your crimes, to enlarge the wounds of those who are already wounded, instead of consoling and healing their wounds. But I must do according to the strict commands of God and tell you concerning your wickedness and abominations. And this is the word which I declare. Many of you have begun to search for gold and for silver and for all manner of precious ores in the which this land doth abound most plentifully. Because some of you have obtained more abundantly than that of your brethren, ye are lifted up in the pride of your hearts and wear stiff necks and high heads because of the costliness of your apparel persecute your brethren because ye suppose ye are better than they. Do ye suppose that God justifieth you in this thing? Nay. He condemneth you. And if ye persist in these things, his judgments must speedily come unto you. Oh, that ye would listen unto the word of his commands. And let not this pride of your hearts destroy your souls. Think of your brethren like unto yourselves. And be free with your substance, that they may be rich like unto you. 
But before ye seek for riches, seek ye for the kingdom of God. And after ye have obtained a hope in Christ, ye shall obtain riches, if ye seek them. And ye will seek them for the intent to do good, to clothe the naked, and to feed the hungry, and to liberate the captive and administer relief to the sick and the afflicted. The one being is as precious in his sight as the other. I make an end of speaking unto you concerning this pride. And were it not that I must speak unto you concerning a grosser crime, my heart would rejoice exceedingly because of you. Thus saith the Lord, They understand not the scriptures, for they seek to excuse themselves in committing whoredoms because of the things which were written concerning David and Solomon his son. David and Solomon truly had many wives and concubines, which thing was abominable before me, saith the Lord. For there shall not any man among you have, save it be one wife, and concubines ye shall have none. For I, the Lord God, delight in the chastity of women. For if I will, saith the Lord of hosts, raise up seed unto me, I will command my people. Otherwise they shall hearken unto these things. For behold, I the Lord have seen the sorrow and heard the mourning of the daughters of my people because of the wickedness and abominations of their husbands. And I will not suffer, saith the Lord of hosts, that the cries of the fair daughters of this people, which I have led out of the land of Jerusalem, shall come up unto me against the men of my people, saith the Lord of hosts. My brethren, ye have come unto great condemnation. Ye have done greater iniquities than the Lamanites, our brethren. For behold, their husbands love their wives. Their wives love their husbands, and their husbands and their wives love their children. But ye, ye have broken the hearts of your tender wives and lost the confidence of your children because of your bad examples before them. And the sobbings of their hearts ascend up to God against you. I speak unto you that are pure in heart. Look unto God with firmness of mind, and pray unto him with exceeding faith, and he will console you in your afflictions and he will plead your cause and send down justice upon those who seek your destruction. But woe, woe unto you that are not pure in heart, for except ye repent, the land is cursed for your sakes. And also remember that ye may, because of your filthiness, bring your children unto destruction, and their sins be heaped upon your heads at the last day. O oh, my brethren, arouse the faculties of your souls. Shake yourselves that ye may awake from the slumber of death, and loose yourselves from the pains of hell, that ye may not become angels to the devil. Amen. children.
I implore you to hear the truth of my words. Do not believe this doctrine of Christ. We have the law of Moses and need nothing more. What you speak is not true. I declare to you now, there shall be no Christ. The doctrine of Christ is the right way to God. This is blasphemy. No man can tell of things to come. Brother Jacob, I have sought much opportunity that I might speak unto you. For I have heard, and also know, that thou goest about much preaching that which ye call the gospel, or the doctrine of Christ. And ye have led away much of this people, that they pervert the right way of God, and keep not the law of Moses, which is the right way. And convert the law of Moses into the worship of a being, which ye say shall come many hundred years hence. I share them, declare unto you that this is blasphemy, for no man knoweth of such things, for he cannot tell of things to come. Deniest thou the Christ who shall come? If there should be a Christ, I would not deny him. But I know that there is no Christ, neither has been, nor ever will be. Believest thou the scriptures? Yea then ye do not understand them, for they truly testify of Christ. None of the prophets have written nor prophesied, save they have spoken concerning this Christ. And this is not all. It has been made manifest unto me, for I have heard and seen. And it also has been made manifest unto me by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherefore, I know if there should be no atonement made, all mankind must be lost. Show me a sign. Show me a sign by this power of the Holy Ghost in the which ye know so much. What am I? That I should tempt God? to show unto thee a sign in the thing which thou knowest to be true. Yet wilt thou deny it, because thou art of the devil. Nevertheless, not my will be done, but if God shall smite thee, let that be a sign unto thee that he has power both in heaven and in earth, and also that Christ shall come. And thy will, O Lord, be done, not mine. desire to speak to them before I shall die. Make way. Make way. deceived by the power of the devil. I fear lest I have committed the unpardonable sin. For 
for I have lied unto God. For I denied the Christ and said that I believed the scriptures. And they truly testify of him. And because I have thus lied unto God, I greatly fear lest my case should be awful. But I confess unto God of God came down upon my people, and peace and the love of God was restored again. And they searched the scriptures and hearkened no more to the words of this wicked man. Enos, your father wishes to see you. I, Enos, knowing my father, that he is a just man, for he taught me in his language, and also in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Take these plates. I received them from my brother Nephi, who commanded that I should write upon these plates. I now ask you to do the same. And blessed be the name of my God for it. And I will tell you of the wrestle which I had before God, before I received a remission of my sins. Where are you going? Hunting. in the forest and the words which I had often heard my father speak concerning eternal life and the joy of the saints sunk deep into my heart and my soul hungered and I kneeled down before my maker and I cried unto him in mighty prayer and supplication for mine own soul O oh Lord I am not worthy. Enos, thy sins are forgiven thee, and thou shalt be blessed. Lord, how is it done? Because of thy faith in Christ, whom thou hast never before heard nor seen, and many years pass away before he shall manifest himself in the flesh. Wherefore go to, thy faith hath made thee whole. Brethren, my people, the Nephites, I have a desire for their welfare.
please, Lord. I will visit thy brethren according to their diligence in keeping my commandments. I have given unto them this land, and it is a holy land. And I curse it not, save it be for the cause of iniquity. Lord, I fear for my brethren, the Lamanites, that my people, the Nephites, should fall into transgression and be destroyed. Wouldst thou, Lord God, preserve a record of my people, that it might be brought forth at some future day unto the Lamanites, that perhaps they might be brought unto salvation. I will bring these records forth unto the Lamanites in my own due time. I have been wrought upon by the power of God that I must preach and prophesy unto this people and declare the word according to the truth which is in Christ. And I have declared it in all my days and have rejoiced in it above that of the world. commanded you to come up hither to trifle with the words which I shall speak, but that ye should hearken unto me. I have not commanded you to come up hither that ye should fear me, or that ye should think that I, of myself, am more than a mortal man. But I am, like as yourselves, subject to all manner of infirmities, in body and mind. Yet I have been kept and preserved by God's matchless power to serve you with all the might, mind, and strength which the Lord hath granted unto me. Mosiah, I don't understand. Why must we work like this? The Lord is right. You're the king. Should I tax the people so that we may rest while others do this work? No. I myself labor with my own hands that I might serve my people. I tell you these things that you may learn wisdom that when we are in the service of your fellow beings ye are only in the service of your God. Also, if I, whom ye call your king, who has spent his days in your service, and yet has been in the service of God, do merit any thanks from you. Oh, how you ought to thank your heavenly king. If ye should serve him who has created you from the beginning and is preserving you from day to day by lending you breath, I say 
if ye should serve him with all your whole souls, yet ye would be unprofitable servants. All that he requires of you is to keep his commandments, and he has promised you that ye should prosper in the land. I have caused that ye should assemble yourselves together, that I might declare unto you that I can no longer be your teacher nor your king. But the Lord God has commanded me that I should declare unto you this day that my son, Mosiah, is a king and a ruler over you. Were it not for these plates, which contain these records and these commandments, we must have suffered in ignorance, even at this present time, not knowing the mysteries of God. The Lord commanded our father Lehi to take them with him into the wilderness. And this is the sword of Laban, which Nephi used to fulfill the Lord's commandments. With this sword, I did stand against the armies of the Lamanites. As ye have kept my commandments, if ye shall keep the commandments of my son, or the commandments of God, which shall be delivered unto you by him, your enemies shall have no power over you. But, O oh, my people, beware, lest there shall arise contentions among you, and ye list to obey the evil spirit. For behold, there is a woe pronounced upon him who listeth to obey that spirit. I would desire that ye should consider on the blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments of God. For behold, they are blessed in all things, both temporal and spiritual. And if they hold out faithful to the end, they are received into heaven, that thereby they may dwell with God in a state of never-ending happiness. Remember, remember that these things are true, for the Lord God has spoken it. And again, my people, I have somewhat more to speak unto you. For behold, I have things to tell you concerning that which is to come. And the things which I shall tell you are made known unto me by an angel from God. And he said unto me, Awake, and hear the words which I shall tell thee. For behold, the time cometh and is not far distant that the Lord omnipotent shall come down from heaven among the children of men and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay and shall go forth amongst men working mighty miracles such as healing the sick raising the dead causing the lame to walk the blind to receive their sight and the deaf to hear and lo, he shall suffer temptations and pain of body, even more than man can suffer, except it be unto death. For behold, blood cometh from every pool. So great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and the abominations of his people. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. My sons, I would that ye should remember that these sayings are true, and also that these records are true. And he shall be called Jesus Christ, 
the Son of God, the Father of heaven and earth, the Creator of all things from the beginning. And his mother shall be called Mary. He cometh unto his own, that salvation might come unto the children of men, even through faith on his name. And even after all this, they shall consider him a man, and say that he hath a devil, and shall scourge him, and shall crucify him. Whosoever should believe that Christ should come, the same might receive remission of their sins and rejoice with exceedingly great joy, even as though he had already come among them. And there shall be no other name given, nor any other way nor means whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ, the Lord Omnipotent. For the natural man is an enemy to God, and has been from the fall of Adam, and will be forever and ever, unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit, and putteth off the natural man, and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord and becometh as a child submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon him, even as a child doth submit to his father. And now I have spoken the words which the Lord God hath commanded me, and they shall stand as a bright testimony against this people at the judgment day whereof they shall be judged, every man according to his works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. Thus hath the Lord commanded me. Amen. We ask Thee for forgiveness of our sins. For we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Forgive us of our sins and accept our offering. And apply the atoning blood of Christ. We desire to enter Thy covenant. That we may receive forgiveness of our sins. My friends and my brethren, my kindred, and my people, believe in God. Believe that He is and that He created all things both in heaven and in earth. Believe that ye must repent of your sins and humble yourselves before God and if ye do this, ye shall always rejoice and be filled with the love of God. And you will not have mind to injure one another, but to live peaceably. And ye will teach your children to not fight and quarrel one with another, and to walk in the ways of truth, and to love one another, and to serve one another impart of your substance to the poor and see that all these things are done in wisdom and order for it is not requisite that a man should run faster than he has strength 
And finally, I cannot tell you all the things whereby ye may commit sin. But watch yourselves and your thoughts, and your words, and your deeds, and observe the commandments of God, and continue in the faith of what ye have heard concerning the coming of our Lord, even unto the end of your lives. Amen. Send among my people. I desire to know if they believe the words which I have spoken unto them. covenant which ye have made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you. For ye say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Therefore ye are born of him and have become his sons and his daughters. Therefore, I would that ye should take upon you the name of Christ. Remember to retain the name written always in your hearts that ye hear and know the voice by which ye shall be called and also the name by which he shall call you. For how knoweth a man the master whom he has not served, and who is a stranger unto him, and is far from the thoughts and intents of his heart? Therefore, I would that ye should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good works, that Christ may seal you his. Tremble and repent of your sins. And remember that only in and through Christ ye can be saved. If ye teach the law of Moses, also teach that it is a shadow of things which are to come.
The Hummer. This is Alma. He teaches the words of Abinadi. Please, we desire to know what happened. The first time Abinadi came among us, he warned us to repent and to turn unto the Lord. This time when he came, he said the Lord would visit us in his fierce anger, that we would be brought into bondage and slain. As you know, when Noah became king, he did not walk in the ways of his father. He did not keep the commandments of God, but he did walk after the desires of his own heart. And he had many wives and concubines, and he did cause his people to commit sin and do that which was abominable in the sight of the Lord. And they did commit whoredoms and all manner of wickedness. And he laid a tax of one-fifth part of all they possessed to support himself and his wives and his concubines and his priests and their wives and concubines. He had changed the affairs of the kingdom and put down all the priests that had been consecrated by his father and consecrated new ones in their stead, such as were lifted up in the pride of their hearts. Yea, and thus they were supported in their laziness and in their idolatry and in their immorality. Never in our history have we had a king such as Noah. There was a man among us whose name was Abinadab, the Lord has commanded and he began to prophesy. To prophesy unto this my people, for they have hardened their hearts against the Lord's words. They have repented not of their evil doings. And thus saith the Lord, it shall come to pass that this generation, because of their iniquities, shall be brought into bondage. And the life of King Noah shall be valued even as a garment in a hot furnace. Who are you to judge us? Yeah. Except they repent, the Lord will utterly destroy them from off the face of the earth. And yet they shall leave a record behind them, and the Lord will preserve them for other nations which shall possess the land. Take them before the king. My king. My king. We have brought a man before thee who has prophesied evil concerning thy people and said that God shall destroy them. And also, he prophesieth evil concerning thy life. And he pretends that the Lord hath spoken it. <laughs> and said, all this shall come upon thee except thou repent. <laughs> what great evil hast thou done? Or what great sins have thy people committed that we should be condemned of God and judged of this man? Cast him into prison. Who is this Abinadi that I and my people should be judged of him? And who is the Lord that should bring upon my people such great affliction? Bring him hither that we may question him.
What meaneth the words which are written, and which have been taught by our fathers, saying, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Are you priests, and pretend to teach this people, and to understand the spirit of prophesying, and yet desire to know of me what these things mean? Woe be unto you for perverting the ways of the Lord. For if you understand these things, you have not taught them. You have not applied your hearts to understanding. You have not been wise. Therefore, what teach ye this people? We teach the law of Moses. If you teach the law of Moses, why do you not keep it? Why do you set your hearts upon riches? Why do you commit whoredoms and spend your strength with harlots and cause this people to commit sin that the Lord has caused to send me to come forth and prophesy against this people? You know I speak the truth, and you ought to tremble before God. And it shall come to pass that you shall be smitten for your iniquities. For you have said that you teach the law of Moses. And what know ye concerning the law of Moses? Does salvation come by the law of Moses? What say ye? Salvation does come by the law of Moses. I know that if you keep the commandments of God, you shall be saved. Yea, if you keep the commandments which the Lord delivered unto Moses in the Mount of Sinai, saying, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of any thing that is in heaven above or things which are in the earth beneath. Have you done all this? Nay, ye have not. And have you taught this people that they should do all these things? Nay, ye have not. Away with this fellow and slay him. For what have we to do with him? For he is mad. Touch me not. For God shall smite you if you lay your hands upon me. For I have not delivered the message which the Lord sent me to deliver. Neither have I told you that which you requested that I should tell. Therefore God will not suffer that I shall be destroyed at this time. You see that you have now power to slay me. Therefore I finish my message. And I perceive that it cuts you to your hearts because I tell you the truth concerning your iniquities. And my words fill you with wonder and amazement and with anger. But I finish my message. And then it matters not whether I go. But so be that I am saved. But this much I tell you. What you will do with me after this shall be as a type and a shadow of things which are to come. And now I give unto you the remainder of the commandments of God. For I perceive that they are not written in your hearts. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet. Have you taught this people that they should observe to do all these things for to keep these commandments? Behold, I say unto you, Nay. For if you had, the Lord would not have caused me to come forth and to prophesy evil concerning his people. You say that salvation cometh by the law of Moses. You 
should keep the law of Moses as yet. But the time shall come when it shall be no more expedient to keep the law of Moses. Salvation doth not come by the law alone. And were it not for the atonement, which God himself shall make for the sins and iniquities of his people, they must unavoidably perish. And did not Moses prophesy unto them concerning the coming of the Messiah, and that God himself should redeem his people? Yea, and even all the prophets who have prophesied since the world began, have they not spoken more or less concerning these things? Have they not said that God himself should come down among the children of men and take upon him the form of man and go forth in mighty power upon the face of the earth? God himself shall come down among the children of men? Yea, and shall take upon him the form of man and go forth in mighty power upon the face of the earth. Have the prophets not said also that he should bring to pass the resurrection of the dead and that he himself should be oppressed and afflicted? Yea, even doth not Isaiah say, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquities of us all. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall bear their iniquities. I would that you should understand that God himself shall come down among the children of men and shall redeem his people. And because he dwelleth in flesh, he shall be called the Son of God. For were it not for the redemption which he hath made for his people, which was prepared from the foundation of the world, I say unto you, were it not for this, all mankind must have perished. The time shall come when all shall see the salvation of the Lord when every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall see eye to eye and shall confess before God that his judgments are just. And now if Christ had not come into the world, there could have been no redemption. And if Christ had not risen from the dead or had broken the bands of death, that the grave should have no victory, and that death should have no sting. There could have been no resurrection, but there is a resurrection. Therefore the grave hath no victory, and the sting of death is swallowed up in Christ. He is the light and the life of the world. Yea, a light that is endless, that can never be darkened. And also a life which is endless, that there can be no more death. Even this mortal shall put on immortality.